Hey guys! Alright guys, we're here on Monday to do one of our famous, infamous uh, double headers. Starting off with a Patreon request from this picture right here. Ask us to check out Crib45 Into the Abyss. Alright, two things. First, Crib45, I hope this is not the 45th episode of Cribs featuring Exhibit. And he's going to take us into Rick Ross's mansion. Which, by the way, the other day we were what we were saying if Rick Ross was a white rapper, his name would be Richard Ross. Yeah, it'd be Dick Ross. Dick Ross, exactly. Or Bob Ross. Ooh, Bob Ross. Imagine him doing rapping. Oh, I couldn't imagine it. He doesn't have the the soul for rapping. He's got the hair. He has the hair. He has the soul for country music. Oh, definitely, definitely. He could definitely go or country. Folk, folkish type music. Yeah, yeah, but I feel like country music is like, you know... It's him. It's him. Yeah, it, it fits him. So anyways, when I look at this request, first of all, I thought about Exhibit in Cribs, because the name, of the, the name of the band is Crib 45. Then the second thing I looked at was the title of the record, Into the Abyss. Now, this song is over the 10-minute mark. I've never heard of this band. We could be totally going into a very dark abyss Yeah. with this request. Because... Uh, in my opinion, the name of the band and the name of the song don't match that well. So I don't know where we're going with this. I have no clue. I just know that it's over the 10 minute mark and if this is bad... <sighs> Are you ready? I'm... I don't, I'm not sure I am, but... Yeah. Okay, let's go.
salvation Underneath From my soul I am tears of the old Mass shooting salvation From my soul I am tears of the old For our salvation From my soul I am tears of the old For our But did you get it at the end there? Like he has a bag with full with, of guns, full of yeah. guns, and he's going like into a happy clown daycare. He's gonna shoot it up. Like obviously the clowns in this in this story, they play a role of something else. Yeah, it's I, I understand. I understand what the what this video wow. is uh, trying to do. I have to listen to the song again though, just because I was very into the video, video? itself. I was very. Uh, the thing was like a mini movie. Exactly. That's what I was caught into it, and I feel like the song for me was more of like just a background track of them running through the forest and getting hunted down. I, I, just, I want to say in the beginning, there wasn't a clown, there was a mime. That was a mime. They were, they're, they're, these people are, are super duper racist. How can you tell? Like, how can you not tell the difference between a clown and a mime? But, but see, but I know, but that's the whole point. The whole point is that when sometimes racism, well, not sometimes, most of the time, most of the time. racism puts certain blinds on that you see what you want to see. You know, it's like Don Quixote, like he saw the windmills, but to him, there were giants that he had to fought. So that's the problem with racism. That's the whole point. It was, it was the whole thing started with mimes, and then it's like clowns, mimes, everything became just like one of the same. If your face is painted, you're an enemy. Exactly. 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 You know, I, I remember, dur uh, not during, after 9-11, I remember Sikhs being targeted. Not that anybody should have been targeted anyways, regardless of your religion, your background, whatever. Like, we can't, we can't blame, uh, blame a, a whole group of people by the actions of a few. Yeah, you know what I mean? Is. So we, we can't do that. But I remember Sikhs were targeted because they had a turban and people thought they were Muslims. Not that it's okay to target uh, Muslims either. I, I'm not. I'm not saying that one or the other. I'm just saying like it just goes to show you like racism and that kind of blind hate yeah. puts these blinders on that you see. Like I said, it's like Don Quixote. You see giants where there, whatever there's windmills. You see giants. That's the problem. Th this song, first of all, the video. I, I had extreme reservations. Oh, when the mime coming in, specifically when the whole thing started with the mime, I'm like, oh god, this, we're in for a treat. Yeah, I'm, I'm like, okay, let's hope this goes into a different. Because uh, I was like, this mime looks very depressed. I mean, I mean, that's the whole point of the mime. When have, have you ever seen a happy mime? There's no such thing as a happy mime. That's true. <laughs> the whole thing is but the, depressed. I mean, the mimes are always yeah, <laughs> but they don't look like full on depressed. They just kind of like emotionless. They're sad. Uh, really sad. It's the whole thing about being a mime. I, dude, I've never seen a happy one. But anyways, I don't I've think they exist. I've never seen one with emotion. Sometimes, actually. Sometimes. You know what I know. Sometimes they have the little uh, teardrop... Uh, I know, they're gangsta. They're gangsta, yeah. Yeah, yeah. They, they, they spend time. <laughs> yeah, they've done time. So, anyway, so when the video started, I had my doubts. The song started... I, I'm with you. I need to listen to this song without the video because... The, the song is incredible. I, got, I don't think I got the full essence of the song. No, I don't. I feel the same way. But what I got from it, I, I really liked it. It was incredible. But this is a mini movie. Yeah. And I was completely... It, I, I was so into I it. I was so into it. I was so into it. Like, you can probably see my face during the video. I, I was bobbing, but I wasn't really, you know, fully with the song. I felt like I'm I've actually... Probably, if I listen to the song again, I'll find more things about the song. The one thing that did stick with me, because I was trying to... I was f very focused to the point where I was tuning out some of the music, but the part that really got to me was when the clean vocals came in, and those were super, super nice. So nice. What a change. Super, super nice. Because I, I wasn't expecting and that at all. And they came with the harsh vocals after. Together. Together was amazing. And at the end, when, when everything drops out, and, and it's, it's just, just the clean vocals and the harsh vocals together, what a way to close off the track. Yeah. Goosebumps. I mean, it's like it, it it becomes really emotional. It brings all the emotion of the track to the forefront. But this is a song for me that I have to listen to it now without the video. Yeah. Because I, there was moments of the track that I kind of got lost or... Is this or, when they're running through the forest and they're getting chased? No, because the more the video progressed, 
the more into it I got. I got. Yeah. The, the more I wanted to know about the story. Immediately, I started to grasp the idea that the whole clowns was just like a metaphor yeah. for something else. You know, for racism. And, when and when I saw the first one fall down after getting shot, I'm like, clown down. When, when I saw that line, I'm not racist, but oh, every every racist you know, person you know, says that. I, you know? I've seen that so many times. <laughs> I'm not I've racist, seen it on Facebook. But... I've seen it on Facebook so many times. And the I moment you add the but. I think I've seen that exact line, too. What? What was the? the I, I can't I'm not racist, but I'm scared for what's going to happen. Or yeah, stuff. yeah, 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 yeah. Like I've seen stuff like that so much. It's it's. I I just got the more the video progressed, the deeper and deeper I got into the into the story and what and what they were trying to portray with the clowns. It, and the song became more and more just a soundtrack. And I, I was like, oh, what's going to happen next? Is he going to save the girl? Or she, like, why not they're just washing their faces so they can get rid of... The, because if you wash your face, nobody knows you're a clown. Yeah. But then you're losing a little bit of who you, you are. So I imagine from a religious perspective, right? Like if you're being prosecuted for your religious beliefs, and if you have to hide your religion in order to survive... Or you lie about it. Or lie, or lie about your ethnicity or your background, whatever the case might be. That puts a toll on you because you're, you're hiding a piece of who you are. Yeah. Regardless, of, you know, of what the situation I mean, might she be. She was trying to rub it off, but she didn't have enough time. She didn't have enough time. I, I, I didn't like, think she was going to die. I thought he was going to slide her the weapon. And then he was, she was Yeah, gonna, but there was three in the house there. She didn't have It was two on three, but as long as you get one of them down, is a two on two. Yeah, well... Uh, you, I kind of had a feeling that this was not going to go anywhere nice. But uh, as far as the outcome... Well, the other clown died too because the guy had a knife. He had a box cutter. He has a box cutter, like yeah. an exacto knife. There's no way that guy is... But the guy just walked by going into the dick. I mean, this is... The video is outstanding. Outstanding. This is like a mini movie. It's yeah. outstanding. The video is outstanding. And the song is incredible. When the clean vocals came in, like I said, I have to listen to this track again to really pay attention to all the details. When the clean vocals came in, I was like, wow. But then, when they both came together, it, it took it to a whole new level. And then when the music drops, and it it's just, just the vocal, I was like, okay, like outstanding way of finishing the track. Not in a million years, I thought there was gonna be clean vocals. And clean vocals that sounded as haunting as these ones did. But this now, is an outstanding song. Now we know why it was 10 minutes though. It wasn't like a full on, 10 minute song it was like i was very close to it though. it was like a seven minute song the intro is like two minutes the intro is but like you need the intro to kind of like you, uh, need, you need the mood to be set you exactly need, you, you, you need, need the, the atmosphere to be created walking around the town no but musically you also need that atmosphere to kind of like start to because the song had this really thick uh, um, emotion to it. it it was it was it was deep man yeah. it felt deep she also I, killed the guy with the crowbar because he called her a clown and she's not a clown. And she's not a clown. I know she went and grabbed the cro the crowbar. She's a mine. She's a mine. So uh, there's a huge difference. Th th there is a huge difference. But what what I was gonna say is this: just to finish off this video, I came in with huge reservations. I honestly did. I, I was like, man, a ten plus minute video, and we don't know anything. We don't know about anything about this. Crib forty five. It's not giving me anything. For all that I know, Exhibit is gonna show up at Rick Ross's house, like we discussed. Into the abyss. I feel like we're the ones going into the abyss on this video. And you know what? I really, really dig it. Yeah. I dig the video because I completely got enthralled by the message that the video had, and the song is just outstanding. I have to listen to the song. But again. I have to listen to the song again. I'm so I, feel I didn't get the full-on essence of the song. I think if you listen to this song without the video, without no distraction, so you can get really into the song, the impact of those clean vocals, the impact of the whole track, we'll give it to it's gonna be, it's gonna push it to a whole new level. Yeah. I mean, this has a little bit of. Uh, of those dark, doomy vibes that I that I really that I really love throughout, like really depressing. Yeah. But with with a very strong message. All right, guys, this is it for this video. But don't go anywhere. There's another video coming right after because this is a Monday doubleheader. See ya. See ya.